Hey YouTube, Chosen7x7 here. In the midst of the holiday season, I hope everyone's having a great time. I had another little special treat for you. I've been absent for a while, but I'm back, baby. Today, I have the Kershaw Rake. Outstanding blade. This, too, was customized by my buddy Tough Thumbs. This is a G10 multicam with a fish spine pattern. For all you fishermen, you know what that looks like. Looks like just like a spine on the fish. Uh, it has a composite blade, which is 3.5 inches long. Uh, that's D2 steel and a Sandvik 14C 28 Nancy, 28 N which I have no idea what that kind of steel is, but uh, that's what Kershaw decided to use. I'll have to look that up in my steel guide. But it's a beautiful, beautiful, sharp blade, sharp as a razor. Excellent construction. You have a nice little jumping on the spine there. Very nice blade. Backspacer G10 Backspacer, which wasn't changed by Tough. Steel liners, liner lock, same pattern, sweet, sweet, sweet blade, pocket killer wasn't changed, steel bears the name of Kershaw, no stone wash on this one, just another one of Tuff's uh, many creations. After a good box of Fiber One, he comes up with something every time. How about it? You like it? One thing I had done to this, this knife, originally, it was a spring assist. Now, I've had him remove the spring. I'm not a big fan of spring assist knives, even though I've got plenty. I just prefer the feel of the knife as I open and close it. Same with automatics, I have a few. I just prefer a manual opening, opening folding knife. Oh, that liner lock mechanism is really tight in there. This is the Kershaw Rake. Overall length, eight, eight inches. Weight, 4.8. Very sweet blade. If you're in the market for a Kershaw Rake, get the composite one. I believe the only one is a composite. Might be wrong. Performs well. If you like that G10, give Tough a, a shout. He'll hook it up for you. In the meantime, everyone have a safe and happy holiday. This is Chosen 7x7. Wishing everyone peace.